Hello, friends. My name is Daniel Curran, and I am the host of Guerrilla Strategies. So let's get right to it. I'm not much for fluff and extra useless words. So let's get right to it. And if you hear some noise in the background, it could either be my chair or it could be some construction because I am recording this from Miami and there are skyscrapers being built right next door. Okay, so let's start from the top. What is Guerrilla Strategies and why do you want to listen to this? So what is the gorilla, right? The gorilla is the king of the jungle. The gorilla is not just some monkey. It is a gorilla, 400 pounds of lean muscle. And the strategies are here to aid you in having more power, better health, better relationships, better success in whatever endeavor you pursue. To have more control over your life. To be the king of this modern day urban jungle. So we will provide the strategies that will that will be practical. The mindsets, the philosophy that you can apply immediately to live a better life. It's going to be a no bullshit, tell it how it is Q&A. I see many podcasts out there that are just doing the same shit. These interviews that are scripted asking the same questions, the same answers, and it's very not inspiring and very kind of copycat. So this podcast is going to be answering your questions. If you have a question, go to declarewarwithin.com, go to the contact us page and send me a question. Your question will be answered on this podcast. So Today we have a couple questions. We have over five questions, so let's get right into it. Question number one from a reader. Can I be successful as an introvert? Answer, yes, you can. This question, the root of it, if you think about it, is can I be successful blank, blank, blank? Can I be successful if I'm overweight? Can I be successful if I don't dress well? Can I be successful if I'm small, big, anywhere in between? Yes, you can. Decide what you want. Pay the price. Put in the work and make it happen. This whole introvert thing is a very cultural thing in America. In the Western, the extrovert is seen as the ideal, even though 50% of America is introverted. However, if you go to Japan, for instance, you will see that the introvert is the ideal. And if you are overly extroverted, you will be shamed. So figure out what you are, whether that's introvert, extrovert, or whatever Myers-Briggs personality type you are. Have that increased self-awareness and use your ingrained strengths to make whatever endeavor you consciously choose into a reality you do not need to be an extrovert you do not need to be an introvert you just need to use your decision pay the price and make it happen next question what to do when you fail so this is a very general question so far but we'll we'll still take a dig at it so what do you do when you fail The first thing you do is realize that you need to spend some alone time dissecting what went well and what could be improved. You must mine for the golden nugget. If you do not, you will make the same mistake. One of my favorite mystics, Osho, said, Mistakes are great, but do not make them twice. How do you not make a mistake twice? is you look at your current mistake, you look at how you failed, and you realize what is that piece that I can learn from. Learn from your failures. The thing about failing is that you that's the only way you truly learn. You do not learn by continuously having more and more victories. Let's say you sell a coin on Craigslist for $10. But then you do some research later and your friend's like, hey, that ring that you that coin that you sold for ten dollars is actually worth ten thousand dollars. You have failed. 
And that is a powerful lesson. Next time you're trying to attempt to sell a coin or something similar to that, you will do your due diligence and make sure that the price is what you are selling it for. That is a painful mistake. That is a painful failure. Use that pain from that failure in order to never make that mistake again. Another mindset strategy would be as a gorilla to realize to always forget your last at bat. So there's this famous baseball player. Um, what is it? Ted Williams, Ted Williams. And he had this quote, which pretty much said he always forgot his last at bat. So yes, you failed. Next step, you learn from your failure. You get that golden nugget. You make sure you do not make that mistake twice. And then you forget about it. Next question. How can I be confident? Again, this is a very general question. If you are sending in your questions to this podcast, how can I be more confident in XYZ situation could yield a better answer. So in short, act confident. Think confident. Move confident. Flood yourself with thoughts of confident. Say, I am just the type of guy that is confident. One billion times. Think as a confident person is. Act as a confident person would. And you will become. If you ask yourself, what would the most confident person do in this situation? You will have an answer. When you have that answer, do it. You are confident. Just because your internal state at that direct moment might not feel confident, you are building this muscle. You are changing your self-image. Act confident, think confident, and you will become confident. Next question. How can I stop caring what people think? So this is what they asked. So first of all, not caring what other people think at all is bad. That's why we have something called honor. You want to make sure that people... That, that some people, this is the key distinction, that the people that are in your tribe think well of you, think well of your character. If you don't care what anyone else thinks, you do not have honor. So make sure the key distinction is not to care what some nobody thinks of you who has never said anything to you. The key is the people that are in your tribe that you chose, that you created, the people that have your best interests in mind, Truly, what do they say about you? Those are the people that you listen to. Everyone else, they don't meet. They don't, they don't even come into your head. They, they don't even get inside of the club that is your mind. The next way, this is a practical thing that I tell my clients in our strategy sessions is to climb a mountain and not tell anyone. Learn a new skill. Start a project, let it be working on your body and do not tell anyone. Do it for three months, one year, write a book for one year and never tell a soul that you've been working on it. When it's out, casually mention it. This will eliminate all of that validation seeking, that need for approval. That is the enemy. Choose that, make sure that that is your enemy, and climb a mountain, figuratively or physically, and do not tell a soul. This will increase that gorilla power. You will become more powerful by keeping it within. Next question. What do I do if I don't know what I want? So obviously this is probably a young person asking this but it could be actually any age i take that back so to get clear on what you want you have to be clear on what you do not want so if you don't know what you want i promise you you know what you don't want so once you know what you don't want now first of all you're gaining clarity and clarity next thing is try out certain actions and then be like, you tried out an action, you tried out an endeavor, you tried out a skill, you gave it a good chance, you gave it two, three, four weeks, 
And now you're like, no, I don't want that. And now you're clear on what you don't want, which makes it clear on what you do want. Take the inverse in whatever it is you want and realize whatever you want is on the opposite of what you do not want. And this question is pretty much bullshit because we always know what we want, but we're kind of angling or kind of waiting for someone else to give us permission to go after what we want. You do not need anyone's permission. Go after what you want. You know what you want already. Trust that you do and pursue it. In the efforts that you put behind pursuing it, you will gain clarity. Next question. People say I'm too nice. What should I do? First off, choose an enemy and do not let them know. So this is something I went over in a recent strategy session is it could be your enemy could be a person or an ideal. It could be laziness as an ideal or it could be Joe Schmo if it's a person. Have an enemy. If you're too nice, you're trying to be friends with everyone. That is being fake. You must be real. Become productive. Raise your testosterone and lower your estrogen. That by itself will stop you from being nice and needy. What I think that you said when you said people think I'm too nice, that means you are too needy. Raise your testosterone and it will solve it by itself. Also, in my experience and in my strategy sessions, this holds true Time and time and again, if people are saying you are too nice, you probably speak like a pussy. Talk clear. Talk without a need of approval stamped into your voice tonality. And learn to say no, N-O period. Do not say no because I have to do X, Y, and Z. Learn to say no. Learn to say yes. Eliminate the gray, black and white. No Yes. And that's it for today. If you have a question, again, go to declarewarwithin.com. Send me an email on there in the contact section. And if your question is good, we will have it answered here. Talk to you soon.